explore the evolution of password methods. You will create an application that stores a username and password in plain text in a database using Python code. You will then test the server to ensure that not only were the credentials stored correctly, but that a user can use them to log in. You will then perform the same actions, but with a hashed password, so that the credentials cannot be read. It is important to securely store credentials and other data to prevent different servers and systems from being compromised. Required resources, one PC with operating system of your choice, VirtualBox or VMware, DevNet Associate Virtual Machine. Launch the DevNet Associate Virtual Machine. Go to Oracle VM VirtualBox. This is my virtual machine. The start. Okay, very good. Demonstrate the application. You will create the script step by step in this lab. The application first stores a user and password in plain text in a web service database. It then validates that the credentials were stored and work properly. The second method, hashing password, also stores them and tests them in the web service database. Install packages and create a web service. You will use Flask to create a simple web service that requires user authentication. User authentication requires a database which will be satisfied using SQLite. Open security directory in Visual Studio Code and install Python packages. Open Visual Studio Code. Okay, is this double click? Navigate to DevNet Source Security Directory and open Password Evolution file. Okay, and go to DevNet Associate Home Directory Labs DevNet Source security and password evolution open with visual studio code okay password evolution file only one line Open a terminal in Visual Studio Code, new terminal. Okay, terminal, new terminal. Okay, this is the new terminal. Use the following commands to install the packages needed in this lab. These packages may already be installed on your virtual machine. 
If so, you will get a requirement already satisfied message. Okay, P3 install by ODP P3 install by OTP Enter Requirement already satisfied Okay Already installed P3 install Flask Flask Requirement already satisfied. Okay, ready. Import libraries. In the password evolution file, add the following code. Notice the command db name test db. This is a SQL database, SQLite 3, that stores the user names and passwords that you will be creating. Okay, so add these uh, libraries and the database. Okay, enter. import by OTP tap and you can add a comment generates one time passwords import SQL Lite 3 database for users and passwords. Import Hashlib Secure Hashes and Message Digest Import UUID for creating universal universally unique identifiers and from Flask import Flask, Flask and F uppercase and request. Okay, request. Enter. App Flask F uppercase underscore underscore name underscore underscore two underscores before and after and db underscore name test.db Enter Create a local web service Next Add the following flask code into the file to create the first phrase of web content and the root path. When the user goes to URL, the root directory, 
the output of the return statement will be displayed in the browser. Okay, this is the app, the root for the root directory, and the find index and return this message. Okay, and add this. App root the root define index column enter return welcome to the this is only a message. Welcome to the hands on lab for an evolution of password systems. Okay, enter. Okay, remember Flask will create the, the web service, okay? App Flask, and this is the app root and the message for the web service. Add the following code to the file to create a local web service on port 5000 with a self-signed TLS certificate. The parameter SSL context ad hoc allows you to run an application over HTTPS without having to use certificates or when using a self-signed certificate. Be sure to use two underscores before and after name in main. Okay, use this. Okay, and um, if space underscore underscore name underscore underscore space equal equal and underscore underscore main underscore underscore and don't forget column app that run define the host name uh, can be uh, this address or use local host Okay, but I will use this comma port five thousand SSL underscore context equal ad hoc enter. Okay, this is the database, the root directory, the message on the web service, the, um, the host name, the port, and SSL context. to run an application over HTTPS without having to use certificates. Okay.
save and run the password evolution file file save very good The no hop, no hang up command keeps the process running even after exceeding the shell or terminal. This character makes the command run in the background. Okay, no hop 5 on 3, the name of the file and this character okay but but be sure you are in the security directory so cd labs tab cd devnet or uh, press tab to complete devnet source and cd security tab enter Okay, very good. Now I am on security directory and now I have 503, the name of the file, pass, press tab to complete, and don't forget the character. Okay, now have to run the process even after exiting the shell or terminal. And this character to run in the background. Enter. Okay, don't worry about this message. Okay, press enter already. Your Flask server is now running. In Visual Studio Code in the security folder. You should see the nohop.out text file created by Flask. Click the file to read its output. Okay, you can go to the security directory and you can see the file. You can open the file. Okay. Serving Flask app password evolution environment production warning debug mode of running on here. Okay, very nice. And if you don't have this output, the server is not running. So review your code. Review your code and press enter at the end. Okay, enter, enter to be sure all is okay. Save and run. Okay. The code should uh, look like this and press enter at the end to uh, okay very nice and Verify that the web service has started. Be sure to use HTTPS and not HTTP. The K option allows uh, CURL to perform insecure SSL connections and transfers. Without the K option, you will receive an error message. SSL certificate problem. The command will display the message from the return command you coded in your script. Okay, CURL option K, the uh, HTTPS protocol, the name of the host, the port, 
Okay, uh, CURL, okay, option, HTTPS, column slash slash, the host name, column, the port, enter. Welcome to the hands of lab for an evolution password systems. Okay, is this message? Okay, very nice. Before continuing, terminate the script. Use the following command to stop it. Process skill, force, password evolution file. Enter uh, process skill, force, pass, oh, password, evolution, that, PY. And the, now is the process is terminated. Explore Python code storing passwords in plain text. When passwords were first used, they were simply stored in a database as plain text. When the user entered their credentials, the system locked up the password to see if it matched. The system was very easy to implement but also very insecure. You would modify the password evolution file on file to allow it to store user identity in the test.db database. You will then create a user and perform an authentication against these credentials. You will examine the test that DB database to verify they were stored in plain text. Remove the server configuration. Remove the following lines from the password evolution file. You will add this code back later. Okay, remove this. I will use a, I will use a hashtag to to remove. Okay, enter. Configure the server to store credentials. Append. Copy the following flash code to configure the server to store a username and password for a user in plain text. Using the HTTP POST method, this code allows a user to create sign up, a new username and password that will be stored in the test DB SQL database file. Later, when the user enters in a username and password, this code will return the message sign up success. Okay, this is the code. I will copy this to a notepad. Copy and use a notepad. Okay. You can say with with this name six five ten lab. 
explore evolution passwords methods okay and Okay, I will use Google Drive to transfer the file. This ready and on the virtual machine, I will use a Chromium browser. Go to Google Drive. Okay, this is the file download. And you got and you have the file on downloads directory. This is open this file. and copy all this all this copy visual studio code paste The app root is a sync app version one. The method is post. Define uh, sign up version one. Connect the database. Okay, uh, connect the database. Cursor to invoke methods like execute and create the table if not exist. The name is uh, the, the table name is user plane and the first field is username. Type text and primary key not null. Password is the another uh, or second field type text not null commit Okay, and uh, if the table exists, execute this another insert in to user play, insert into the table, the table name is user play, insert the username and password. The values are the requested username and the requested password. Commit. Uh, and if the and if the integrity error exists show username has been registered 
Finally, print the username and password. Sign up success. And there, uh, obviously, save the file. Okay, be careful. Append copy the following flash code to your password evolution file to verify the new account credentials. Okay, here define verifying plane. Okay, to return records, copy. Okay, and backspace, enter, and paste. Okay, be careful here. Okay, and now define verifying plane. Username and password connect to the database, invoke a, a method, uh, it's a query, and show or select passwords from user plain text where username is uh, the first username and Execute the query. Um, this is fetch one. This method retrieves the next row of a query result set and returns a single sequence. Okay, finally close the connection. If not records, or no rows, return false. And finally, return the password. Press Enter. OK, Enter. Append copy the following flash code to your password evolution file. This code is used during each logging attempt to read the parameters from an HTTP request and verify the account. If the logging is successful, the message login success will be returned. Otherwise, the user will see the message invalid username and password. Okay, now and copy the following. Here, upload. To return error. To return error. And backspace, enter, be careful, and paste. Okay, the root, a new root, login version 1, two methods, get and post, and define login version 1, error none, if post, if the requested method is paused, verify plain, verify plain, the username and password, 
uh, show login success else invalid username and passwords else invalid method and return error enter okay look at this this is the function verify plane is this function Okay, if the method is get, we show invalid method. If the username and passwords are incorrect, we show invalid username password. Okay, and obviously save. run the server add back the server configuration code you deleted earlier and add this save and run with no hub 503 and don't forget this character Okay, uh, remember this, uh, these lines, cut and add, append at the end, enter, backspace, enter, and paste. Remove the hashtags very nice enter uh, and this is the code review okay save and repeat no hub 503 password evolution and uh, this character and okay and now use the following CURL commands to create sign up to user accounts Alice and Bob and send a post to the web service. Each command includes the username, password, and the sign up function being called that stores this information, including the password explain text. You should see the sign up success message from the return command that you included in the previous step. Okay, use CURL, option uh, K option, the method is post, and username Alice, password, my Alice password, the host name, and the path. And the same but the user is different bob and the password password for bob okay you can repeat the c-u-r-l option k and x uppercase to use pause method and F. Okay, X uppercase to specify the method. Okay, and F the form. Okay, the form and specify an entry. The username 
Miss Alice. Another uh, form entry. And the password is my Alice password. And specify um, HTTPS, the host name, the port 5000, and the path sign up version 1. And this character. Okay. Remember, you need to refer to this okay, to create the table. Enter. Okay, and repeat the line with change the username. Bob and the password is password for Bob password for Bob enter okay bad request The browser sent a request that this server could not understand. Look at this. Okay, so repeat. This should be a password. The username is Bob. And password. Password for Bob. Password. Okay, now enter. Very good. S sign up success. Okay, verify. Use the following CURL commands to verify that both users can log in with their passwords that are stored in plain text. Okay, CURL, K option, method post, the form, username Alice, and password. But the path is different, it's login version one. Okay. Verify. CURL, K. Okay, post username Bob uh, or try with Alice. So you are LK post for username Alice for password my Alice password. HTTPS hostname port instead sign up use login version one enter login success very good uh, do the same with Bob Bob the username. And password password for Bob a 
okay the, this is uh, for okay and see url okay post form username bob form password password for bob https local and uh, hostname port login version one enter okay uh, okay illegally formatted input field okay uh, repeat okay this is the problem okay see url okay post form username okay the, the username is bob form password password for bob https uh, hostname port enter logging success very good and uh, terminate the server repeat the process skill force password evolution and terminate it verify the contents of test db you may have noticed that sqlite created a test db file in your security folder you can cut this file and see the username and passwords for alice and bob in this step you will use an application for viewing sqlite database files Okay, first uh, go to security security directory. You can see test database. Browse data. Alice is the username and password. Bob and password. Okay, and open database browser for SQLite application. Okay, and on programming um, database browser. For SQLite menu and after the database browser for SQLite is running, open the file. Open database. Labs, DevNet Source, Security, Test. In the database structure tab, notice the user playing table that coincides with the code you created earlier. Okay, now you can see the table, user plane. Okay, uh, username text and password text. Expand the table to see the fields, username and password.
Okay, these are the fields, username and password. And browse data, select the table. Now you can see Bob and Alice. And browse data, Alice and Bob. This is the table, user plane. And username field, password field. Very nice. Close. Password hashing in Fido. Instead of storing passwords in plain text, you can hash it when it is created. When the password is hashed, it is converted into an unreadable collection of characters. This prevents anyone from converting it back to its correct plain text version. Even if the database is stolen, it cannot be used because the hash is not known. You will now modify the password evolution file to create a web API that can accept a web request and save a new user's password in a hashed format. Remove the server configuration. Okay, on Visual Studio Code, again, use hashtag to remove this. Enter. Configure the server to store credentials. Add the following code to the bottom of the file to enable the server to hash the password using SHA. 256 hashing method. Notice that this code is similar to the code you included previously. This code allows a user to create sign up, a new username and password that will be stored in the test SQL database file. The difference is that the passwords will be stored as hash values instead of being in plain text. This routine uses SHA-256, but does not solve the hash. You will see the implications of using a hash without salt when you build the test database file. Okay, copy this to the code. Okay, use this file. Here, return sign up success, copy, okay, and backspace, enter, be careful, paste. Now is uh, up root sign up version 2, use methods get and post, define sign up version 2, connect to the database, cursor to invoke a method, and uh, execute. Okay, uh, create the table if not exist. The user hash, this is the table name, user hash. Username is the first field and the second field is hash. It's not password, it's hash. Commit or if the table exists, try the following hash uh, with uh, SHA256, hash the password, uh, insert into the table, user hash table, insert the username and hash, the username 
from the form and the hash value that is this commit and show the integrity error username has been registered finally print username the username and the password and the hash value and sign up success okay enter append copy the following code to your password evolution file to verify the password has been stored only in hashed format the code defines the function verify hash which compares the username and the password in hash format when the comparison is true the password has been stored only in its hash format okay so add this define verify hash username password to return records hash lib okay copy this backspace enter be careful paste then verify hash connect the database uh, invoke the method and use a query execute the query the query the query is the query uh, select hash the hashed password from the table user hash where username is the input okay uh, fetch one this method retrieves the next row of a query result set and returns a single sequence. And close the connection. If not, records false. Uh, if um, if there are records, return the hashed password. Okay. And there Type. append copy the following code to your password evolution file the following code reads the parameters from an http post request and verifies that the user has provided the correct password during login okay create uh, login version 2 and define login version 2 App root login version 2 methods get post return error okay app root login version 2 methods get post return error okay enter backspace enter paste be careful app root login version 2 methods get post define login version 2 error none requested method post verify the hash is this method uh, is this uh, function verify hash verify the username and password login success else invalid user and password else invalid method return error enter backspace enter save
and run the server and test it. Add back the server configuration codes. You deleted a layer. Okay, remember these codes. Cut. And paste at the end. Okay, backspace. And remove the hashtags. And review the code, password hashing. Should uh, look like this. At the end, the server configuration. Save. Save and run. Okay, and use the following CURL commands to create three new user accounts with a hashed password. Notice that two of the users, Rick and Alan, are using the same password. Okay. Don't forget to save. Execute the file. No hub five on three password evolution and this character enter. And CURL K option method post form username. Okay, Rick. For another form password. Same password. Same password. Okay, be careful. Same password. HTTPS. Uh, the address. The port and sign up with version two. Sign up version two. Okay, enter. Sign up success for Rick. Now, Alan. The same line, but use Alan. And use the same password. Okay, but this will okay uh, down around okay enter enter okay and repeat okay just uh, username Alan. Password, same password. HTTPS, hostname, port 5000, sign up version 2. Sign up version 2. Okay, very good. Enter. Sign up success. Enter. Enter. Okay, Rick with same password. Alan, same password. Sign up version two. Sign up version two. And now add date with different password. Sign up version two. Repeat the previous uh, day. The username is day password. Different password. Okay. 
sign up version to enter sign up success enter enter You see URL commands to verify the login of all three users with their hash stored passwords. The user's Alan is entered in twice, and the first time with the wrong password. Notice the invalid username password that coincides with the call for this function that you added in the previous step. Okay, try and uh, Rick with same password in login version 2 okay use uh, rick same password it's not sign up it's login version 2 enter Logging success. Okay, enter, enter. Now uh, try with Ellen with the wrong password. This, this is an incorrect password, okay, because the Allen password is the same password. Okay, and Ellen. and use wrong password wrong password and login version to enter invalid username password this is very good enter enter And try Alan with same password. Login success. Alan same password. Login version two. Enter. Login success. Enter. Enter. And Dave different password login version 2 login success type different password login version 2 enter login success enter enter This confirms that the hashed password is safely stored and the passwords of users are protected should they become compromised. Terminate the server. Process kill force and the file name. Process skill force file name terminated. Verify the database. Okay, and remember go to security tab. Test database open with database browser for SQLite. And now you can see two tables the user plane and user hash. User hash and the username text and the hash also text. But, uh, user hash should already be selected you, you will now see the usernames rick alan and dave along with their hashed passwords 
Notice that Rick and Alan have the same hashed passwords. This is because they had the same password and the hash function did not include a salt to make their hash unique. Salting the hash is the process of adding random data to a hash. To guarantee the uniqueness of the passwords, increase their complexity and prevent password attacks even when the inputs are the same. A salt should be added to the input of a hash function. Ok, go to browse data, user hash, select and expand this. This is Rick with this hash, Alan with the same hash because both have the same password and they is a different hash. Very nice. Review the final program. Now you can review the final program with about 100 lines. Very nice. Thank you very much.